It's official. We launched our first two products on Amazon five days ago. That's this is, right. Well, this is the fifth day. In those first five days, we have sold 175 units, yeah. which equates to just about $5,000 in gross revenue. Right. So our napkin holder and our set, uh, our four pack of disposable litter boxes are now available for purchase on Amazon. So check the link in the description mm -hmm. and we will link to our products if you are interested in checking them out. Right. That's where they are. So we wanted to give an update on how we're doing. We wanted to talk a little bit today about how the first couple days of our launch went and how it's been going the last couple days. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we wanted to just maybe talk about like how we feel about it and then what we're going to do going forward. Right. Okay. So um, do you want to talk about how those first couple days went, Steve? All right. So it was pretty wild, a big roller coaster the last few days for sure. So. Uh, what happened was, I think it was, you know, Wednesday of this past week, um, both of our listings got turned on and we just watched all day long. The first sale came in in the middle of the night, like 3 a.m. or something. And then we just kept watching all day long and our numbers got bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, that first day we ended up with over $1,000 in sales. And that is, you know, very unusual for a new launch because our listing was brand new. There's no reviews, there's no sales history. You know, we were just ranked really low initially, like on all these search pages and things. But we ran a lot of PPC ads, so pay-per-click ads, which they show up on Amazon as those boxes that say sponsored on them. Right. So you can you can create these advertisements in Amazon and then it pushes your listing up in the ranks. Um, so we were running quite a few, like we were running a pretty high budget for that. Because normally with the program that we're in, um, they do some like giveaways at launch time. So they'll they'll send people to Amazon and tell Amazon, tell them to buy their product and then they'll give like a reimbursement after the sale. So then I would have to reimburse the 100% or 50% or whatever of my product cost to, to start ranking, you know, to start generating sales. Mm -hmm. So I figured, if I'm spending a bunch of money on PPC to boost my rank, it's the same thing really as, re, you know, refunding all of these, or not refunding, but rebating all of these purchases. So I was going to try to, um, rather than doing the rebates, I was going to try to like boost the listings with PPC. So we were running pretty high PPC those first right, two days, right, but right. that, so that was the first day. I think it was close. It was like, I'll put it, I'll put, this is how our sales actually looked. It was like over $1,100 the first day. Yep. And, uh, so, you know, that first day we were super excited because, you know, we kind of had an expectation that, you know, we, we had done our research. We knew what other products were selling and we thought that, you know, over time we could ramp up to those numbers, but we just exceeded those kind of best case numbers, like right on the very first day. And it was wild. So wild. Yeah. And, uh, and the second day. Oh, oh, sorry. I just wanted to say too, the program that I'm in, the mastermind program there, um, there's awards. They give you awards for meeting different milestones in your business. The first award. And by the way, let me take a step back. This program that I'm in is so phenomenal if any of this Amazon stuff is interesting to you. So I always have a link to this program in my descriptions on these videos. If this stuff is interesting to you, go take the course. There's nothing to lose. This course, the first one is like a seven day course telling you how this process works. It's much more thorough than my videos are. I, w I did not want to I did not want to double up on what this course is doing in my videos. In my videos, I figure it's more of just like, this is how it's working for us. Right. But this course is only like $50 right. and it's seven days. It'll teach you how the process works. So check out the video or the, the, the link in the description if this is interesting to you, okay? Right. But the program, the mastermind one I'm in, which was a step after the seven day program, um, they have benchmark awards that you can meet. So the first award that you can meet is called the Benjamin Club. And you earn that when you get $100 worth of sales you're in a day, okay? Mm -hmm. It takes many people a long time to achieve that. Right. It's a big deal when they hit this Benjamin Club. It can take months. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got that the first day. We got that like 
hours into our first day. Right. Okay. <laughs> Not only that, the second award is called the Grand Rainmaker. Okay. And mm -hmm. that is something somebody achieves when they get a thousand dollars worth of sales in one day. Guys, we hit that our first day too. Yeah. It was wild and I posted about it in the Rainmaker group and people were like, this is blowing my mind. This isn't something that's normal. The products you picked were a slam dunk. Right. <laughs> so I just want to like say too that these results are not typical. Right. It takes some people a year or more to hit this grand Rainmaker award. Okay. But we did it in our first day. Right. <sighs> mind blown. Okay. So the right. second day, Steve. <laughs> right. So... Yeah, the, the first day exceeded even kind of our best case scenario of what we could sell, just based on our research. The second day comes along and it's like 70% more than the first day. It was wild. So we had like $1,700 sales. Yes, yeah, $1,700 sales in our second day. Right, and at this point we were starting to really worry about our inventory. Because I thought, I thought we had enough inventory checked into the warehouse to start launching. We had like 80 units or something. And I was like, oh, that's plenty to get started. We won't sell 80 units. And they were like gone after the second day or something. So then we were waiting on like Amazon's, you know, I've talked in our other videos about transfers. Amazon transfers their products among the different warehouses um, when they first receive them. So ours are like most of our inventory was still on trucks headed mm -hmm. from California to Michigan, Indiana, New York, all over the place, right? And it takes yeah. days mm -hmm. it for these take... trucks to get across the country. Mm -hmm. Days or weeks. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so we're running out of stock then after right. that second day. Right, so we were, you know, curious, like we were still learning what to do. Should we turn off our ads because we didn't want to run out of stock? Sometimes Amazon kind of punishes you if you run out of stock. And you kind of have to restart all of your, you know, search your ranking. rankings and things. And so we didn't want to run out of stock. So we even briefly like turned our price up in hoping that we would yeah. slow down we, some sales. We, we, we turned it up by like 25%. We like, we're priced at $29.90 and we boosted it up to $39.90. And we've still got sales coming in and I just feel so bad that we're like... Right. <laughs> and so, yeah, so it, it turns out that you know, our understanding of how the sales work with those in transit units, um, we, you know, we realized after, you know, that second day that, you know, you, those units are still available for sale, even though they haven't reached their final warehouse yet. And we've kind of been in that situation ever since then, where we've been, you know, mostly out of stock with the ones that are actually at their final destination, but Amazon will still sell those other units. They'll just have like a later delivery date on them. So in the end, you know, we, we kind of learned about that and we're still, you know, I think as of right now, there's some in stock, but there's a lot more hundreds of units that are still on trucks. that will be getting to where they need to go in the next couple of days. Right. So the third day, like we said, we turned off our ads at the beginning of the day. Um, another really th weird thing happened the third day. And that was, we have a competitor who is probably our top competitor because this this is a weird thing to know about Amazon, okay? So sometimes if a brand is doing really well on Amazon, com well, companies in general, but companies in general might want to acquire the brand. So even this brand that we're building, the goal eventually is maybe to sell it. You want to create a brand that's sellable and purchasable so that you can have like a multi-million dollar exit maybe. Right. So some companies that are doing really well on Amazon get acquired and they could even get acquired by Amazon. So I use this software to do product research, research that's called Helium. And in Helium, it'll say who the... Um, like who the who the brand is and my top competitor is Amazon okay right. so i knew going into this that amazon is also selling products in this product category and you know when you're looking at amazon that sometimes products say sold by amazon well the tricky thing is that this competitor actually does not say that it's sold by amazon in amazon 
Right. But Amazon has acquired another business. I'm not going to say who it is. Amazon's acquired another business that's in my category, but they haven't marketed it on Amazon as they're selling it, even though they are selling it. Okay. Right. So, so our first two days, this brand, you know, who's not showing as sold by Amazon, but it is Amazon. They were not online for whatever reason. I don't know if they were out of stock temporarily or why Amazon didn't have this product listed those first two days, but they came back as available on our third day of sales and their price that they were listed for was a price that was much lower. It was like $3 lower than ours. Ours right. is a four pack. Theirs is a six pack. So you're getting more units. Yeah. I have actually purchased their product and it's like, it's comparable, right? It, it's a decent, you know, good quality product. Um, so like, with that being said, Amazon can sell things at a lower margin than I can because mm -hmm. I have to pay a referral fee for 15%. 15% of my product price goes directly to Amazon as what they call a referral fee. Okay, mm -hmm. so 15% goes to Amazon. Also, Amazon can cut themselves deals on shipping too. I pay a shipping fee or you know like a fulfillment mm -hmm. fee also so they can they can afford to sell their products for lower than i can right. like if i sold it at their price i wouldn't make anything plus i've got to run ads i'm sure they're not paying for their own ads either right right so this product comes back online on on our third day and we are out of stock except i mean not out of stock but our stock is all in transit and we had turned off our ads. So the third day we were like, it, like we were on a roller coaster. Like it was high, high, high those first two days. And then it was like, we just hit a, like hit a low. And we were both kind of in a funk about it. And we were really like questioning our decisions in life. <laughs> um, but the amazing thing that happened that day is that some people still bought from us. Right. Even though our price was higher and even though they were getting fewer units from us, some people still chose us. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm like giving, getting goosebumps even saying that because it's so encouraging. It, it really made me feel like some people just saw us. Like there was something that is different about our listing. Mm -hmm. And I hope that that's true. Like because we've put just so much of ourselves into this you know, into this right. business. So anyway, we did still have some sales coming in that third day. You know, I have a business coach through that mentorship program and she was explaining the thing about like the units in transit and that they're still available for sale. So I, I can't remember if I turned ads back on. Maybe I did. Um, I think we did for a while, but our napkin holders actually did not sell very well the first or second day. Um, but they started selling more that third day also. And, um, anyway, the third day, I think, I think our sales actually did still hit a thousand dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. You know, the early part of the day we were still selling really well, but then later, you know, this other competing product came back and then the rest of the day, it really just tapered off. Um, but we did hit a thousand dollars for the third day in a row, which, which, like I said, is something that most people can't even do within a year of launching. So, mm -hmm. so like, even though it was kind of a bummer day seeing that competitor come back online and I knew that that competitor was existing. I've done my product research, like my research about the product and about other competitors, but I just got so caught up in it when we were first launching and we were doing so ridiculously well <laughs> that it just slipped my mind. Like, where are they? You know? Yeah, and yeah. it was like an oversight on my part. Um, but whatever, we still did well our third day, right? Right. So then the fourth day. Um, yesterday. Um, yeah, so our sales, you know, have been consistent, but they're still lower than the, the last few days. I mean, they're around, you know, half of what we did the first day. Um, but to us, you know, looking back, that was really kind of our expectation in the first place. and. You know, we were hoping that it might take weeks or months to kind of get to that level where we're selling as well as not this top competitor, but the other the next yeah. two or three. And that's we are matching their numbers. Yeah. So all, like already. So brand new, no reviews. Um, it we know we're in a good spot. That's where we kind of hope to be. The only thing, the perspective is different because we had such a wild ride. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, it's 
it's good. We're 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 really happy now that we've kind of, you know, had time to think about it and kind of yeah. realized how the things were going. Yeah, and I mean like when we were first like figuring out how many units we needed to order and how many we thought we'd sell a month, like we knew that that top competitor like sells around 6,000 units a month. Okay. Mm -hmm. We knew we couldn't compete with that, but the next, you know, highest competitors sell like around 500 to 600 or something. So we were saying maybe stretch goal, we're going to sell 500 units a month. Right. Well, like those first couple, t two days we were on pace to do like, yeah, like I 15, don't know. 1,500 or more. In a month. In a month. So it was like, we were worried about inventory. I reached out to the manufacturer. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to make it. <laughs> like, I was like thinking I needed to reorder a bunch of stuff already. Um, so, you know, like we're more on pace with what we anticipated now, I think. Right. Um, and I don't even think we'll have any problem hitting that 500 unit a month that we were originally like thinking would be a stretch yeah, goal. Yeah, kind of like a high-end number. So, so, but another fun thing is that I never had like huge expectations about this napkin holder. It was like just kind of a fun thing to put together because we needed one and mm -hmm. um, it just kind of seemed like low risk, but low reward. Yeah. And it might be low reward. I don't know. We're not making like huge margins on it or anything. Mm -hmm. um, like. But the interesting thing is that today, Steve was saying that he was looking at our orders and that we've maybe even had more... More napkin holders sell today than the litter boxes, which were like selling like crazy yesterday in the last few days. Yeah. So it's like completely reversed. And we'll see how the end, you know, by the end of the day, and they might, might be equal or whatever, but you know, that's kind of a win because we're moving a, a second product up in the search or uh, in the rankings and things for our categories. Yeah. I just wanted to say a couple more things. Um, and then we'll, and then we'll sign off. Cause I know this is getting a little long. Yeah. So one of the things I wanted to say, another big win we had is that on our second and third day, we were ranked as number one in our product category yeah. on our second or third day. That's just so yeah, mind boggling. Yeah. Like it just takes up some people a long time to get any kind of traction in their category. Um, the other thing, and, and even today when our sales are lower than that, we're still ranked number two right now. Right. Yep. So that's fantastic. We're celebrating that for sure. The other thing I wanted to say is that like how I explained like the Amazon kind of like games they play a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, our next steps is that we are actually right now trying to look at maybe starting to sell on Walmart in addition to Amazon because um, I would just love to have like some diversity in how, how in, you know, like in where we can be purchased right, and everything. Right. And since, like we said, that other brand is owned by Amazon. Yeah. And so their advantage over us on a different selling platform would be non-existent or theoretically. So, so maybe we can, you know, sell in other places too and maybe have better margins. Who knows? And yeah. we're just looking into it. So. And we don't really know anything yet about selling on Walmart. Um, the The program that I'm in doesn't really talk about it much, but we're going to just, like I've already signed up to see if I can become a seller on um, on Walmart. So stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll be the expert on, no, I don't know. There probably is experts on Walmart selling. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> So that's just something we're looking at. Um, there's other there's other marketplaces where we can sell our products too. Um, additionally, we have other products we're even planning, right? Like we're not mm -hmm. just selling these two things that we have. Like last week we announced that we're our third product is a cat tree. Like we're super excited about that too. Mm -hmm. Just the more things we can put out for for our customers and for our brand, it just makes us more well rounded. So right. anyway, anything else to say, Steve? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, thank you for everybody who has been paying attention to what we're doing. It's kind of fun to, you know, just kind of share, you know, the ups and downs and it's been, this is, this is the fun part and it's crazy and wild and, uh, yeah, there's a lot more to come. So we're, we're excited. And again, I want to say, um, you know, like our case is not typical, but a lot of the people who go to this go through this rainmaker program are successful in whatever you know whatever their trajectory is and if you have interest in this kind of you know like i wonder if i could do it too i highly encourage you to check out that course it's like just 50 dollars, right thank you so much for tuning in we appreciate you 
All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.